Hello Dollhouse Vlogs once again. I'm back in the Sisters Doll Kitchen and I'm going to make you another cheesecake. Are you ready to play? Play, play, play. So we got some ingredients. I like to use Coles brand products because they are a little bit cheaper, but we've got a Woolworths butter here, so. My last cake I made you, which was a Tim Tam cake, which was nice. I knew it was gonna work out and I knew it wasn't gonna like mess up. But this cake was a request by my brother, Sage, who's behind the camera. Sage! <laughs> now, I found this recipe online. We'll put the link in the description. But it's a Kinder Bueno cake. I love Kinder Surprise. Who doesn't love Kinder Surprise? It's beautiful chocolate. And I've always wanted to make a Kinder cake, but I never have got around to do it. So, I'm gonna do it for you now. Never been done by me, so fingers crossed it works out. Stay tuned and get ready for this Kinder Surprise cake. All right, so we're gonna need the same cake tin I used in the last one, a 20 centimeter spring form cheesecake tin. We're gonna give it a good spray with the old canola oil. Like I said, don't be shy with this. Make sure you get the sides, spray enough so the cheesecake doesn't stick. And we'll just let that sit to the side. What I do have to mention is this is another non-baked cheesecake, so we don't need to use the oven or anything like that, so it's nice and easy. So the first step is we need to crash some Crush some, not crash. Wow! 300 grams of any digestive biscuit, really. I've used the Coles brand Nice Biscuits, or Nice. Having the sugar on top gives it that little bit of extra sweet kick that this cake most probably doesn't need. So these are a 250 gram packet. So we're gonna use this whole packet. We're gonna use the classic Nutribullet idea I used in the last video. So uh, if you have one of these, I will highly recommend them because they are good. That is one full packet of Nice Biscuits. So I'm just gonna do it in a couple of stages because See, I couldn't fit all the biscuits in. Just gonna give that a shake. So obviously for the recipe you need 300 grams of digestive biscuits. So I've put a full packet in because these are 250 grams. So I need to get the extra to make up that extra 50 grams, which I think if my maths is okay, it's another six biscuits I have to add to the original biscuit, so we'll go two, four, six, and then that packet can be left for a nice hot cup of tea later on tonight. So we're gonna crush these biscuits until they're roughly crushed. You can obviously put them in a Ziploc bag and use a rolling pin, but I think that takes a little bit longer. So I just use this because we've got the Nutribullet, but if you don't have a Nutribullet, obviously the old classic way is an easy way to. So take that out, give that a show. Also as a part of the base is we got our 300 grams of digestive biscuits as well as four Bueno Kinder Surprise chocolates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush them up, break them up, put them in there, mix it up, and then I'm gonna add in our butter and that will be our base. You can smell that nice Kinder Surprise mixing in with these biscuits. And just so you know, in the last video and in this video, my hands are sanitized and clean. So, I did. Now we've got to add in our butter. 150 grams of melted butter. And our microwave safe bowl, once it's melted, we'll go into our base batter. Here's the magic. Voila. We're gonna add that into our batter and just give it a quick mix. Obviously the Nutribullet mixes things really well, so I don't want it to become too sloshy. Hey, look at that. There's our batter. Done it all in the uh, Nutribullet. So I'm just gonna put it in. This is our base. All right, so we had a lot of batter for the base of this one. So what I've done is I've ran it up around the sides and I've made it as neat as I can. Now pray with me, doll army, fingers crossed, it doesn't stick when I take this apart. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge for an hour to let it set. So um, wish me luck, it doesn't crack. 
So the next step we've got to do, unlike the Tim Tam one, this one only has one layer. So in your microwave safe bowl, we need to melt up your Kinder Surprise chocolate. 250 grams of Kinder chocolate melted. So these were 126 grams. So it's roughly two of these pretty much. So what we want to do is we want to melt it all in the microwave for 30 second increments and stirring in between. Once it is melted, we're going to set it aside to cool. That's if I don't eat it first. These are my magic hands. Voila, our melted Kinder Surprise chocolate. Just make sure there's no lumps. And then we're gonna set that aside to cool down. All right, so for our filling, we need 500 grams of cream cheese. This is at room temperature, so it makes life a little bit easier when it comes time to mixing. So there's our second lot of cream cheese. So we've got our 500 grams. Don't have to cut it up, but I do it just so it's easier to mix. We need a cup of icing sugar. So I'm guessing the icing sugar is gonna act as like a gelatin sort of thing. It's gonna lock the cake all together. And the reason I've got a teaspoon out is because we need a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Let's tip that in. All right, so we're gonna mix those three ingredients together, which was the cream cheese, the teaspoon of vanilla essence, and the one cup of icing sugar. So just gonna give that a quick mix. So now as we're mixing, we're gonna add in our Kinder Surprise chocolate. This is gonna give us the whole overall Kinder Surprise taste. Mix it in together. I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. All right, so now that we've got my other ball, we're gonna mix 300 of the thickened cream until soft peaks form, which means we need half of this because this is a 600 ml container. So I'm just gonna roughly get half. So I'm just gonna mix it until soft peaks form. So I've thickened that cream up. We're gonna add our cream to our filling mixture and we can't mix this in. We have to fold it in. This is what's gonna give us our fluffy texture at the end. So I've roughly mixed that the best, I think. So we're ready to add it to our base. Okay, so the cake is out of the fridge. It's firmed up nice. So now we're gonna add in our filling. So it's kind of cool because there is some edging left around it. It kind of looks weird at the moment, but it's good because I do have some extra Bueno Kinder Surprise, which I do recommend in the recipe. So I'm gonna use that to decorate it with. But unfortunately, we have to wait six hours until that can happen. So I'm just gonna put some glad wrap over this and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for six hours and come back tomorrow to see the results. Tomorrow. All right, how you doing Dollhouse Vlogs? It is the next day. Same apron. So we've got the Kinder Surprise cake out of the fridge and it is set. Doesn't look too smooth on top, but that's fine because I am about to decorate it. So to decorate it, what we're gonna do is the leftover cream that we had, which is roughly about 300 mils. Whisk that up until it's thick. And then we're gonna do some piping and give it a nice finish. All right, to save some time, I'm gonna prepare the melted chocolate so then it can cool a little bit. We're gonna put it in our microwave safe bowl and we're gonna say the magic word. Voila. We're gonna just let that sit for a little bit. So our cream's ready to go. I don't really know what I'm gonna do piping wise on the cake yet. I'm gonna try and make it a little bit different from the last one, but um, wish me luck. All right, it's a moment of truth. So it's been in here overnight. So I'm hoping it is set. Like I said, I've never made this cake before. So let's hope it holds its form. So far, so good. It held its form, which is very nice. So now as you can see, I do have a bit of a gap between the cake and the top, which gives me a lot of room to fill for the um, piping of the cream. So I'm gonna fill this bag up, I'm gonna pipe away. Now I'm not a professional piper, obviously. I'm gonna try something different here, and hopefully it'll work out well. So I learned how to pipe from my grandma. So love you grandma. She would sometimes let me do it, but I don't do it enough and I should practice it more, but I've got no idea what I'm gonna do, but we'll have some fun. So now that the piping's been done, just gonna put it on some baking paper so I can drizzle it with some melted chocolate. Pop 
probably don't need to use a whole packet of melts, but I did because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. Now for the hard part, I'm cutting the first piece. I always hate doing this. And there, she blows. All right, so now time for the almighty taste test. Like I said, Kinder Bueno chocolate, cheesecake. Never tried it before, so let's see. Nice. Yeah. I actually prefer it over the Tim Tam one, to be honest. Nice. So make sure you give it a try. It is nice. I've never made it before, but I'll definitely be making this one again. Get those sugar rush feels happening. Love you guys. Rock on, Doll Army. See you at the next Doll Vlogs. Try my coat. I've heard what's been made. Let's get yeah. a reaction. All right. Mm. That's fucked up. In a good way? A good fucked up. You had to swear, didn't you? Oh, it's unreal. When something tastes nice, you can't help but swear. Uh, so, because it tastes that good, I'll so say what you, So what do you rate it, Austin, out of 10? This is 10 out of 10 for me. Unbelievable. Better than the last one? Yeah, for sure, 100%. <laughs> We're stuck in Melbourne and Brennan's in Western Australia, living life like normal. And yeah, we're having a great time in lockdown again. Man, um, you suck, Brennan. And what is it? Kinder what? Kinder Bueno. Oh yeah, I see it. Mmm. Nice.